here to show you my new ASIC mining system for script. Yep, the time has come. GPU mining may be dead soon. Luckily I got rid of all my cards. So these are the new grid seed miners. They mine approximately 330 kilohash per second each. They're just a little tiny guy here. Uh, they also mine uh, SHA-256 coins, but I've turned that off because that takes the watts from 7 watts up to 60. And if you can see the number of miners I have here, that would be a lot of electricity. Uh, so I've disabled all the fans, just put a little box fan on low. That seems to work fine. Uh, so right here, I've, I think I've got about uh, 40 of them. Let's go in the other room. Here's another probably 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, probably about 9 more. These guys are running just off one hub and a single power supply. Now when you get these from the manufacturer, they hook only 6 up to each of these 30 amp server grade power supplies, but I found that that's not necessary to limit to six unless you're only unless you're running SHA and script. Since I'm just running script I can hook a heck of a lot more up. And just in case you're wondering, this is uh what it looks like when you mine. It's using CPU miner for these ones. It's not the most friendly interface. I do hear that BFG miner is coming out or has already been patched to work with these grid seeds. So let's go in the other room. And here's the other room. I've got about 50 more of these things. They're all hashing away. And I was hoping I could run them all off this Raspberry Pi. Uh, but that did not work out because apparently you're limited to 32 devices per Pi. So I tried running them off this BeagleBone as well. And that's really not working out. That's only allowing me to do about eight, I think. So I gotta order in for a few more pies. Because uh, I do have another 50 of these miners coming in hopefully Wednesday of this week, so tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you can see this is the hub, USB hub that I got. Let's see if I can get without the shadow. This came as part of my package deal on Bitcoin Talk, as did all the cables and all the power supplies. Uh, they did come with this funky outlet which doesn't really work in the US so I had to cut them all off and put on my own power cords but minor, minor problem. Now right now I just have these running on multi-pool just to keep everything simple. Uh, you can see it's running 27 mega hash. I'll refresh it see if it's any higher probably won't be. Now the thing I found is that I should have closer to 32 but I've got that beagle bone that's not working right now so I'm I'm waiting for those Raspberry Pis to come in so I can run this. Um, so I've actually got this is the beagle bone mining and then I also have that Pi mining here and there's a bunch of stuff that you need to get these working, but there's some Bitcoin talk threads that go on about this. So I recommend you take a look at those. Um, now you might also be thinking, well, you sure have a heck of a lot of these units and you're getting only 27 mega hash. Well, if you think about, that would take about 30 R290Xs, which are like five, 600 bucks, and they take 360 watts each. Everything I have in this house right now is taking less than 700 watts. So that's less than a single card. That's about 30 times less power than the GPUs run. So if I were to run this amount of speed in my house, I don't know if I'd even have enough circuits to run it with GPUs. But I can put 50 or 100 of these on the same circuit in my house, no problem. So. I think we're going to see these script ASIC miners take over this area just because it's so much simpler to set them up. 
You don't need a motherboard, RAM, CPU, hard drive, just to do your graphics cards. You just plug in a Raspberry Pi and you're off and running. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you got any questions in the comments, please let me know. I'll try to link to some resources that will help you get going uh, if, you, if you're interested in buying these. Uh, I recommend you get these off Bitcoin Talk. There's a guy named Zoomhash. He also sells at zoomhash.com and he's a great guy. He gets them to me from China in like two or three days which is amazing. Anyways, thanks for watching.